This morning, we are going to experiment, and we hope it will get a positive reaction. <laughs> Dr. Kate Beter, Beter, Beterborf, Beter, I ah, forget it, Bieberdorf. There we Kate go. Bieberdorf. Thank you. Sorry, Kate. She's known as Kate the chemist. See, that's how I know her. Uh, she's she going to, uh, you you got to get rid of that last name, Kate. Uh, she's going to share some fun <laughs> science projects that we can do at home. Hi, Miss Kate. She's out, she's, out, she's out with a new book. It's so cute. It's called The Great Escape. Good morning to you. Good morning. What a great introduction. I am dying at that. Not so much, but thank you. In his defense. I married into that last name. The, so okay, I there you go. You. I understand. You know what it is? In his defense, sometimes we write things out phonetically, and it actually makes it harder than I know. putting it's the last true. name out the way it is. So there you go. Hey. Blame the teleprompter. Uh, so congratulations, okay. first of all, on the book. What can you tell us about it briefly? Um, it is a fiction book. It's the second in a five book series where a little Kate the chemist, she's 10 year old, 10 years old, goes around her neighborhood and uses science to solve yeah. her everyday problems. So every fiction book has a mystery. And at the end, there's an experiment so the kids can actually do something that they read about. I absolutely yeah. love that idea. Can't wait to, to grab that. And uh, so speaking of the science, let's get to it. So you're starting off with a magnetic slime. Tell us what we need for this and uh, if the ingredients are easy to find. I know some of the stuff you get is pretty wild. Yes, and I'm actually going to switch that on you. We're doing secret message first because the slime is so messy that okay. I won't be able to oh, do okay. the message okay. after that. So the first one is called the secret message, and this one you could probably do right now. So all you need is salt, a paintbrush, like a makeup brush would work, a piece of paper, and some crayons. Um, so what you do is you take a two-to-one mixture of salt and water. You just want to get your salt wet. And then you're going to take your salt and paint a secret message, like a code, onto your piece of paper. And just get creative. Whatever you want to make, just draw it out. Then the hardest part is you have to wait for it to dry, and that takes like a couple hours, but you just push it aside. When it's done, it should look something like this. Hopefully you guys can see oh, this. Oh, cute. Oh, very cool. I'm what? a terrible artist, so I can't even tell you how proud I am of this. Like, that's this that's so pretty well. impressive. What's the science and behind so like, that, Kate? Well, so what happens actually is that the salt is sticks here, so it adheres to the paper, and then what you do is you're gonna wipe all the salt off so it's gone. That's when it's your secret message. You put it in your envelope That's and you cute. send it to your friend, then you grab your crayon, just go all over it, and when everything's said and done, it will appear. And so this message will appear oh, to your friend. Yeah. And it's so cute. And so the, the wax adheres to the salt. And then the, the usually I do it on a white paper so it pops out a little bit better. But I wanted you guys to be able to see it. And so the, the wax just adheres to the salt that has basically been adhesive, used its adhesive properties to kind of absorb into the paper. And so it's just a little science experiment where you can be, a, you know, a secret agent. That's cute. Cool. <laughs> I love that. Okay, now the magnetic slime. Now the magnetic slime, which, oh my gosh, you don't have to get me into this one. I love this one so much. So it's a two to one to one mixture. So I'm going to use a one cup of glue. You want to use quality glue. Then you're going to use a half a cup of iron oxide powder, which I have buckets of in my house, but you might not. And so you can probably find it at like a local craft store or, you know, an Amazon type of thing. Like it's all super easily accessible. And then you're going to use, if you use a half a cup of iron oxide powder, you're going to use a half a cup of saline solution, so like contact solution. So you're going to put it all in there, and then you're going to stir, 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 and let that sit for a little bit. So I got up at 6 this morning to make some for you guys because oh, wow. I think this just looks amazing. And so what you have is magnetic slime. Oh, my so gosh. what's cool about this is it actually works as a magnet. Now, hopefully you guys can see this, but I have neodymium magnets right here, and I'm going to put it close. And I don't know if you can see, but the oh, oh, wow. I'm really cool. oh and jump to it and it's so cool and so if you put the magnet in here then the slime will eat it and so it just absorbs the whole thing i've got slime going all over my room who cares science is amazing and i hope you guys love this experiment <laughs> my kids would be in heaven we're gonna go oh, do that, that on your couch so fun. So, yeah. <laughs> give me your hat jess and we'll be right over <laughs> that's Come awesome Austin. i will tell you all about science that's so cool okay <laughs> thank you so much it sounds like a great book if you want more information on kate the chemist the great escape you can head to today.com Slash shop. Thank you, Kate. I love it. It's like the blob. Yeah. It goes out and reaches it things. It eats magnets. Oh, yes. Cute.